Hi, my name is Nick Burnham and I'm here for Motorboat Yachting today in Brundle in Norfolk at the home of Broom, looking at a used Broom 35 coupe. Now this is a boat that Broom brought out at the Southampton Boat Show in 2012. They brought this out and they brought a 30 coupe out at the same time. And this is the first time that Broom has gone much under 40 feet this century. Not only that, but it's also the first time they've come out with an aft cockpit boat rather than an aft cabin. However, although it's a slightly radical departure for Broom, it maintains much of the Broom features and quality. So there's lots of neat detailing, like the seat I'm sat on here, which is a reversible backrest to face inwards or outwards. And it's also got things like the wide side decks, the nice high rails, and a nice forward facing seat out on the front. On the inside of the boat, the idea was to present a lower price point, but not a lower quality. So we've still got much of the same interior quality and choice as the bigger boat. So let's have a look in there and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so here on the inside of the boat what you find is the typical attention to detail and quality that we get on any broom. And you also get a tremendous amount of choice. So you'll find these boats with satin wood finishes in oak or cherry or walnut, but they also do a high gloss as you can see here in either a cherry or a walnut. But the choices don't end there. There's a few other very interesting options. This boat here has got the glass opening sunroof. Uh, it was a £6,000 option when the boat was new, but it really makes a huge difference. It throws a lot of light into here, and of course you can open this and get a lot of ventilation. The good news about this is, in fact, every single broom that's been made, although it was an expensive option, has had that fitted. So pretty much anyone you'll find of these should have that feature. Now, of course, it's not just extras that you can choose when this boat is new. There's also a choice of layouts. This is the standard layout we're on here. What they've done with this one is they've actually extended the saloon area forward. So you've got a nice seating area at the front here that's forward facing. Your galley is up here in the saloon. Uh, there's quite a nice detail here, which is a TV. It'll actually pull out and drop down. So you've got that feature as well. Um, and that leaves space further forward for a big master cabin forward. And then on this one, you've got a separate toilet on one side and a uh, shower area on the other and also a small utility area down there. But although this is a standard layout there were several options and in fact we've got another boat here which I can show you and with the magic of video editing I can transport you straight to it. So here we are on an alternative layout Broom 35. And although this is an alternative layout in fact this is the most popular layout about 80% of Broom 35s went out with a setup you see here. So the galley is now gone from the saloon. We've got a sideboard here instead, and this saloon area is slightly shorter. And what that means is you lose your fixed forward facing seats, but you do gain a flip over seat here. So you haven't lost your forward facing seating for your crew. Now your galley is now on the lower level. That's replaced the shower over on the starboard side of the boat. So a nice big galley area, but because of this saloon area is a little bit shorter. You've got space on this side for a larger heads. So although your shower is now in the heads, it is in a separate compartment. Forward cabin stays exactly the same, but there's one more option that you can have. You can have the galley back up here, but maintain this slightly shorter saloon area, and that gives room for a second cabin. So you can have the cabin on this side with bunk beds in, and in fact Broom are just working currently on a version with a double bed in that cabin. However, if you have the open plan layout like this with just the one cabin, you do get a proper Z bed that folds out from the, uh, from the settee in here, whatever layout you have. Now the last thing to talk about is engines. These Broom 35s were all shaft drive, and therefore the engine is under the saloon floor just here. This boat is a semi-displacement hull, in fact it was designed by Andrew Wollstonehome, and it was designed really as a river boat come coastal boat, in fact it's an RCD B category boat. Um, so with that in mind, there's a range of engines that were fitted to this, starting with the Nanny engines at 60 or 80 horsepower, and that gave the boat about 8 knots, and then through to Volvo Penta engines, which were the D3s from 150 upwards right up to the D4 at 260, which is what we've got in here. And that's giving the boat about 17 knots flat out, cruising 12 to 14. There was also a twin engine option. It's pretty rare. Broom concluded fairly quickly 
that in fact the boat was much more efficient with a single engine but there are a couple of boats out there with a pair of Nanny 170 horsepower units.